DPDP photography here bringing another video and today switching it up a little bit back to the EUC um, it's nice to have all these different devices to be able to switch them up keep everything pretty fresh um, as I told you guys before I've gotten a lot better on the EUC um, and I like to wear a little bit more gear when I'm riding on the EUC even though I haven't fallen or anything like that. I feel like it's definitely a big possibility uh, that you could eat it when riding one of these things. And most times I also would have on some elbow pads, but today for some odd reason, I can't seem to find my elbow pads. Blame it on the wife. But as you can see, you know, I've gotten a lot better. I'm able to pick up speed and ride and do everything. I do feel a little bit of a speed wobble, and I'm guessing that has something to do with uh, my foot placement, but the ride's still pretty sweet, man. Most of the time when I do get those wobbles, I just kind of ride right through them. I do a little bit of carving back and forth, and right now it's happening every time that I hit one of these bumps. Uh, but it's all good, man. Uh, the InMotion V8S, man, pretty decent machine, uh, cheap price, you know, only cost, what, 650 bucks compared to uh, my one wheel GT with all the upgrades on it, which is running at about, I don't know, 3500 I spent a lot of money when it comes to my one wheel. So for me to be able to ride on something for 650 bucks, is an absolute treasure. Um, I'm able to ride on different terrains. Definitely cautious, a lot more cautious when I when I'm on this thing. You know, it's a whole different feel when you're on an EUC compared to a one wheel. Like on the one wheel, you got that wide tire. On an EUC, the tire is. It's smaller, it's more comparable to a motorcycle tire. And you could fall left or right, you know, if you don't have, you know, the right amount of speed going. Um, gonna go ahead and cross up here. Like a lot of things that you don't really have to worry about, like you gotta really think about it when you come into a stop on the EUC. As you can see right there, that was not the most graceful stop. Now when it comes to crossing streets, um, you see, I'm just gonna wait because cars like this, they will run you right over, you know? And it's like, you gotta make sure they're gonna stop because, you know, who wants to die out doing what they love? Not me. All right, no problem, my friend. But, yeah, you know? <laughs> Seeing that car just ran right through it, man. It didn't care anything about stopping. Um, but yeah, I've gotten pretty good when it comes to riding on this smaller EUC. I still haven't tried out the Lynx yet, although I do feel like I'm ready. Um, I have a lot more understanding of what it takes. It takes um, control. Uh, it's a different feel. It's a whole different feel. It's like somebody today uh, told me that, you know, you're still riding on a one-wheel device, which technically is true, but the word EUC means electronic unicycle. And this definitely has more of a unicycle feel than a one-wheel. A one wheel will be more comparable to a skateboard or snowboarding or something of that sort. This thing, you know, you gotta have your balance. Like right now I'm going up a hill that when I first tried this, you know, it, it shook me a little bit. And even now me going up how I am now, I'm very weary, you know, of the cutout. And that's why I like to wear a lot more pads when I'm, you know, on the EUC. For the simple fact, you know, if it were to cut out, 
I would hopefully be able to slide on my knees and I like to have elbow pads and whatnot, but I don't have them right now. Don't know what that is. Um, that was crazy. But yeah, I took that, no problem. And I'm getting a little bit of a speed wobble right now, going down that hill. But I recovered just like that. is definitely a fun device but a total different machine which one do I like more at the moment I'm still favoring my one wheel you know that thing is my tried and true um, it's what I have the most fun on uh, it's to me less dangerous um, not as fast but to be able to ride the way that I'm able to ride on a one wheel is key. Like right here, I gotta go through water. No, I don't neither. Whew. It's a little bit sketchy right there, but I made it through, no problem. Um, got gnats. I should've worn my shades. For the simple fact, I know it's close to the sunset and these bugs are gonna be out here, man. They, whew, they're everywhere. And all it's gonna take is one in the eye, man. When they get in the eye, those things burn. Whew. Nice looking chick over there. Man, fucking gang of gnats. How you doing? All right. Damn, fuck. I think I got through them bit of a mission probably ate one or two still going through them just a little bit when I get where I'm going I'll go ahead and uh, try to take them out of my helmet but yeah, I'm enjoying the EUC and I'm just about ready to step it up to that big boy Lynx uh, I'm not gonna be going fast on it or anything right now I saw that somebody dropped in the comments that I want to change the settings to get it to go a little bit faster. But um, 33 miles per hour in the beginning, I think that will suffice for me. Um, this is a bumpy road right here. But like I said, I take these bumpy roads with no issue, you know? Bumps and they don't, they don't bother me. Coast right through them. Like, and I'll jump on the sidewalk just to be a little bit safer. Another thing that I like about one wheel devices, you know, EUCs. I'm able to jump on the sidewalk when need be, especially here in Key West. You know, this sidewalk ain't too uh packed just yet man but euc journey is going pretty well it's been a while i did forget about the links like uh people were suggesting me to do um now i'm starting to remember that thing again as it's just sitting in my kitchen collecting dust not what i want to be doing with it um this week though is the week that I will get out and ride it. But for now, yeah, we rolling on the Inmotion V8S. Now my thoughts, like I say, you know, for 650 bucks to be able to roll on the EUC, that's absolutely amazing. You know, it's got the trolley handle to walk and I just rolled over a whole bunch of glass and hopefully I don't end up with a flat tire. Um, but if I do, I guess that's just going to push me in the trajectory of riding the, uh, the Lynx. Um, 
definitely still love my one wheel, man. And it's like I say, man, next I will be going with uh, Street Slick. And at that point, I pretty much think that I'll have a feel for all three tires and what the difference is and how they feel. I'm going for that cloud, um, taking a little ride through the graveyard. You know, I always tell people, you know, one day, more than likely, this is where I will be buried. Um, this is where a lot of my family is buried. A lot of my friends, you know, most of the people that I knew growing up that ain't here with us today. And don't tell me that the gate is locked already. I ride through here all the time, man. And I've never encountered the gate being locked. And for some reason, I feel like my eyes are not deceiving me. The gate is locked. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. First time for everything. <laughs> yep, been here all my life, man. And I don't think I've ever ran into the gate being locked, you know? When I was younger, we actually used to have parties in the graveyard, man. When I was into my drugging days, you know, back then, you know, we would trip on acid and come. Yeah, I tell you, man, I lived a hell of a life, man. For me to be where I'm at now, you know, now I drink coffee and it drives me crazy, man. But back in the days, you know, I could take some of everything, man. We used to trip on acid and, you know, some of everything else, ecstasy, uh, micro dots, mushrooms, uh, special case, so many different designer drugs we used to do and come in this graveyard and just party. Now, you know, I won't come in this graveyard playing music, you know, because I feel like you should respect the dead. You know, it's crazy how your life goes full circle, man. And the things that you think as you get older. Um, so far, so good, I think. I don't think I have a flat. But this thing feels absolutely amazing. Um, still getting a little bit of that speed wobble. But I am enjoying the float. Now I'm gonna change the position of the camera. Most of the ride, I've been riding with it down by my tire. That's because that's what I'm used to when I'm riding um, on my one wheel. But with these wrist guards, it feels a little bit aki to say the least. Um, still turning corners real good. You know, that's a nice little ride. You know, I'm definitely able to ride this thing now. I don't have any trouble turning any corner. Um, still not doing the figure eight as best I should be, you know, especially on this Inmotion V8, but I am able to ride. EUC journey is definitely different, man, definitely a lot harder than uh, one wheel. You know, on one wheel, you got a big six and a half inch tire. And the only thing you got to do is balance yourself a little bit because the board's going to do most of the work for you. When it comes to this, the EUC, the board is not going to do, or the device is not going to do most of the work for you. You're going to have to balance. You're going to have to have confidence you're gonna have to use speed many different things and you're gonna have to have a good device gotta give it the in motion man you know i don't know how the v12 or the v13 or the v11 feel 
I do see a lot of great comments, um, but my big boy is, you know, Lieberkin, and I can't wait to get out there and try that thing. Another thing I can't wait to get out there with is my paddleboard, man. He was is definitely the spot when it comes to riding paddleboard. Uh, we got a lot of mangrove trees around here, a lot of paths that you can go through, calm, still water. Not like, I won't even get up here and lie and say like it's like the Bahamas water, because in the Bahamas, you know, you can see through that water like feet among feet. How you doing? All right. And yeah, you can see the clouds. Definitely been a rainy, rainy day. Um, I guess I'm gonna take this route. We was gonna cross the street and take the back roads, but since I am on the EUC, I might as well take you guys the scenic route. Go over the water, past the water. QS is definitely beautiful. Sun is getting ready to set. Still using my Insta360 X3. Um, I got the Ace Pro, which I will be doing a video on here soon. Uh, but the framing and reframing and being able to see everything around you in a 360 degree view is absolutely everything. Uh, the Ace Pro is more of an action camera meaning that, you know, you can take it on different things and devices, which I'll be using it mostly, uh, more than likely on my paddleboard, but there's no framing, there's no reframing. It's pretty much a point and shoot. Um, still a cool device, you know, good for shooting at nighttime. Um, it's got some AI software internally that actually cleans up noisy footage. A um, lot of different things that I'm, I'm looking forward to messing with on that camera. Plus, plus, you know, it can go up to 10 meters deep into the water, you know? And that's really why I want to use it, man. Look at that. That's called glass right there. That's what we like to call glass. That water. You can see straight through that water. That's another thing when it comes to the EUC. You gotta really, when you're about to stop, you gotta think about what you're doing. You gotta be ready to stop. You can't just go out there. Ooh. See, that would have never happened on a one wheel. That would have never happened on a one wheel. But, it's all right. Like I say, I'm not a pro just yet. Um, I can't even tell you what I did wrong just now. But, a lot of the riding on the EUC it's just trust, trusting that uh, you can ride through it because a lot of times you're going to be in some messed up positions. You're definitely going to be in some messed up positions. You're going to feel like you're going to fall. And if you just give it a little bit, a little bit of speed, you won't fall. And I'm still waiting for the day. You know, I know I'm gonna fall. <laughs> My day is coming. It happens to the best of them, man. Even Chooch EUC, one of my favorite YouTubers, you know, 
eats shit every now and then, man. And when he eats it, he really eats it, man. He's doing top speeds on top machines. So, but you know, by watching him, it just shows you that, you know, you can fall at higher speeds. And as long as you got on the right gear, you'll be able to save yourself, you know, slide on your knees, um, hit your back on the floor, you know, have on elbow pads, wrist pads, shin guards, all these different things. They, I mean, they won't prevent injury all the way, but they'll, they'll keep it to a bare minimum. That being said, back at the house, and thank you guys for watching, you know. Uh, DP Photography, also known as The Real Bird, man. Until next time, drop the comments. You know what to do, man. It is what it is. I'm out.